So uh, our challenge was to be the most loved brand of the Super Bowl. Uh, pretty simple brief, but pretty daunting. Uh, it's a pretty high bar to, uh, to pull that off. It's a tight ad. Uh, well, first, I think uh, we identified you know, why do people watch the Super Bowl? What do they really want to see from this? And people watch it for entertainment. They want to have fun. And so we, our approach, and as it has been for several years, was to, to lean into humor. Uh, we really wanted people to enjoy the experience. Uh, and for a brand like Tide, I think humor is a, an important asset for us. So we thought about what would really be fun and uh, basically make for a good experience for the viewer and uh, add to the quality of the game. You know, like we would love to feel that the advertising that we put on air actually adds to the experience of watching the game or the program that it's part of. Oh, does this make every Super Bowl ad a Tide ad? Well, we... We've approached the Super Bowl for several years now the same way, where buying an ad in the Super Bowl game um, is only one small part of what you're really what you're really buying and doing. And so, to do a Super Bowl ad, we look at multiple facets of like what's at our disposal if we're buying an ad to make the whole program work. So there's always going to be a second screen conversation that's going on about the game. <clears throat> so how is our advertising going to relate and make use of that? It helps with the value of buying a Super Bowl ad because it's it's premium content and it's not cheap. And so when we when we interrogate an idea, we look at it for how does this live beyond simply being a 30 second or a 60 second spot. We look at what is the conversation that it's going to start in other media and are we really using everything that we might have access to to really get the value out of our Super Bowl ad. So sometimes like in the past that's included the network itself uh, and we had a bit of that this year. Um, some of the personalities of the network, last year's program with Terry Bradshaw, we were looking at these and saying how are we making use of the moment of the Super Bowl, the network itself, the conversation that's going on around it, the game itself. Last year's was uh, a program that we um, you know, simulated a live portion of the game. So it, it, to really make the Super Bowl work, there's a lot of elements that go into it beyond simply make a great 30 second commercial. The, the decision to move past the stain really came with the idea in this. It was not strategically brief to let's not, you know, let's not focus on the stain. It came with the idea in this, but we recognized the large potential of it. Uh, it's the core benefit of what Tide delivers is clean clothes, and so embracing that felt like it fits naturally with what we do. So once we were at the stage of the idea, everybody was on board. It feels like it. Uh, it relates to the stain by the absence of them, and so it felt like an easy next step for us to take. <clears throat> Whenever you see clothes this clean, that's a tie dad. I mean, I think there's a lot of, there's clearly a lot of pressure on TV advertising, and there's a lot of pressure for it to be effective. And I think that pressure, um, what, well, it's warranted, can make people very risk averse. And um, we were fortunate enough to have a client that understood the risks but would embrace them with us in this because they could see the opportunity that we had with it. And so I think you know, what's, what's driving you know, the change in television advertising is certainly all of the fragmentation of media. But then you know, I don't think people take as big of risks anymore as they used to on TV. And when you're able to take the risk, um, a good calculated risk, it can really pay off and break through. I think that's what we were able to capitalize on.